When we talk about cellular networks, we're referring to these mobile devices we carry around. We've traditionally called these cell phones. And we call them cell phones because the way we came up with these types of mobile networks is we put down a map and we drew cells on the map. We drew sections and split it up into tiny pieces. And each one of those pieces we call a cell. And that way, we were able to strategically place antennas so that you had different frequencies that were communicating into different parts of the cell. And that allowed us to hop in our car and drive across the country. As we move from cell to cell, we would move from tower to tower and maintain that connectivity everywhere we went. The traditional type of connectivity we now call 2G type networking. And you may see these terms used for 2G. There is the GSM connectivity. This stands for Global System for Mobile Communications. And there is CDMA connectivity, Code Division Multiple Access. So it depended on the carrier you were using and what country you happen to be in as to whether you were using GSM type communication or CDMA type communication. But functionally, we call both of those something as 2G networks and how they work. These 2G networks really weren't designed to send data, at least not originally. They were analog connections. They were designed for circuit switching, which means you would call a phone number, you'd talk to somebody, you'd hang up the phone. Data connections are more packet switching. They're ones that can be used at any time, and they can communicate to many different locations. So what they did was make some minor upgrades to 2G so that we could do a little bit of data, a little bit of packet switching inside of that. But they were very low speeds, and they were very limited on what you were able to do. A more modern type of connection over these mobile networks is called LTE. There's another standard called HSPA+. These are standards that were created by the 3GPP. It stands for the Third Generation Partnership Project. It is a collaboration of many telecommunications companies that got together and decided we needed some standardized ways to send this data back and forth. LTE stands for Long Term Evolution. And it's one that was based on GSM, or what the data was for GSM called Edge. It gives you download rates of a theoretical maximum of 300 megabits per second over your mobile connection. And the upload theoretical maximum can be as high as 75 megabits per second. So already you can see some of these mobile technologies, especially LTE, gives you a lot of throughput that you might be able to use. The other type of standard you'll run into is HSP. A plus that stands for Evolved High Speed Packet Access. And it was an offshoot or an upgrade to CDMA. The download rates for HSPA Plus have a theoretical maximum of 84 megabits per second and an upload of 22 megabits per second. And what we find is each of these standards continues to change and continues to grow. So you may find that the speeds in both LTE and the speeds for HSPA Plus will continue to increase as time goes on. Another wireless standard that's hoping to become your internet connection is one called WiMAX. This stands for Worldwide Interoperability for Microwave Access. It's one where we can provide high-speed internet connectivity over a wireless connection over a very large area. The area, in some cases, can be as much as 30 miles of a radius. Some people refer to this as Wi-Fi on steroids. And this is not Wi-Fi signaling. This is not 802.11. There's a separate group of standards just for WiMAX. But the idea is pretty sane. Imagine having the ability to go wherever you'd like, walk around wherever you'd like to be. And instead of having that limited capability you have in your home with your 802.11, you have a 30-mile radius you could walk around with a WiMAX type connection. With a fixed WiMAX, which means you're sitting in one place, you're receiving a signal probably over a pretty nice connection with your antenna, this is using a standard called IEEE 802.16. And the existing throughputs for this are about 37 megabits download and 17 megabits on an upload. There's another type of WiMAX called a mobile WiMAX. This is the newer flavor of WiMAX. It is also 802.16. It's the 802.16e that was updated in 2005. And because this is the newer WiMAX, this is also the faster WiMAX. You can get download speeds on this standard of a theoretical throughput of up to 1 gigabit per second. If you're sitting in one place, you're fixed station. And if you're a mobile device, you can have throughputs of up to 100 megabits per second. So obviously, if you have an area that has a lot of WiMAX connectivity, you're really competing with some of the traditional mobile technologies in the LTE and the HSPA pluses.